Hi folks, today I'm going to show you the new Gboard, which is the Google Keyboard for iOS. Now this is only available in the American, the US App Store at the moment, so if you want to download it, create yourself a American App Store ID. So here we are. If I open iMessage, you'll see we now have the Gboard or Google Keyboard. And what you do is you type and swipe. Oops, wrong word. Swipe. Suggestions pop up as they do with most of these swipe keyboards and with the Apple keyboard. Now you'll notice on the left hand side next to the um, above the letter Q you have the Google button. Press that, clear the box, press it again, clear the box. So if you press the G button, it's asking you to put a search in. Now these are my this is my search history here. If I type in, for example, ISS, then tap the, the suggestion above or press search, you will see uh, at the bottom of the screen there's a magnifying glass icon which is lit up in blue. That is search results from Google. You see? It's asking me there, enjoying G Gboard. Yes, I am. Um, now, if you press the photos icon in the middle, the picture of the two mountains, you will now see pictures of ISS, which you can select and share. Now, for example, if I tap one of these, it's now copied it. And if I tap above here, I paste it in. That is an image from Google gone straight into my iMessage without me even going to the Google app or sorry to the um, Safari app or anything. I basically paste it in from here. Now if you want animated GIFs, you tap the GIF button and you'll see there there's a GIF. Same again. If you want to copy and paste it, you tap it. It's now copied it. You go into the text compose box above, long press and paste. And of course you just send as usual. This keyboard is wonderful. What can I tell you about it? It's wonderful. Now, delete all this content. If you want to do a Google search for uh, your local petrol station, for example, press the G button, find local petrol. See, it's found already. Find local petrol station, right? Okay. Now, you see it comes up with Shell, which is pretty near me. So if I want to share that in the, in the message to the person I'm sending it to, just press Share. It's copied it and pasted it in the message already. Just send that. That's already just basically... <laughs> you see, this is a conversation with me and myself, so I'm just texting myself. This is so simple to use. Now, um, I don't know what to tell you, really. Um, the features from that they've moved across from the Android Google keyboard are, this, are these. You can type in the, or there, whatever. If you swipe backs and forwards on the space bar, just hold your thumb down and slide it backs and forwards. You can actually move the cursor uh, into the right position. But then why would you do that when you can use iOS's native loop magnifying glass, which has been there for years? I actually prefer the loop method. It's more accurate. I think. Anyway, it's um, apples and oranges, isn't it? Um, yeah, so it's basically a wonderful keyboard, I think. It's how a swipe keyboard should be. Let's find uh, some more results. Delete Google Keyboard. Find me a photo, photo of a uh, Lion. Search. Press the images button. There you go. Lions. Tap it. It's copied it. Tap above. Press paste. And there it is. Go back to the G box. This is this is the Google box here. This part here where my cursor is. Clear that. Where 
is my nearest McDonald's. Okay. Kettering or Iron Way, okay. So I share that. That's gone straight into the message, you see. Now to go back to the normal key, the text entry mode you, on the keyboard, you press ABC, as you always do. Send that. Anyway, that is the Gboard. That is the Google keyboard for iOS. It's wonderful. The only thing I can tell you is, without me rambling on for ages and making this video very long, all I can say to you is, go and download it and try it. Seriously, you, it's one of the, it's the best. I was going to say one of the best, but it's actually the best swipe keyboard. The only one that works fluidly and fast. I've tried so far on iOS. It's better than all the other ones put together. Um, it's just wonderful. It's just really good. I mean, I'm not being a fanboy. It's, I'm not a fan of Google, to be honest with you. I don't really like Google that much. I think their ethics are terrible in some areas, but that's a political discussion. This is the Google Keyboard Gboard for iOS. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. I meant to add, if you want to get into the settings of the Google Keyboard, the Gboard for iOS, you long press and hold down on the globe and you'll see it says next keyboard in the pop-up pane and settings slide up to settings let go and you'll see the keyboard settings you've got glide typing which is basically swiping emoji suggestions which I haven't quite worked out what that is yet presume it's suggesting emojis when you're saying happy or sad or putting a typing an emoji manually um, the rest of it is pretty self-explanatory pretty self-explanatory really um, now one thing that's quite strange is if you go back, press the back arrow, in that context you can't get out of the keyboard settings until you actually um, double click and app switch, which is, I don't know, that's, maybe that's a bug. Search settings, predictive search, um, contact search, I've got off because I don't want to share my contacts or look them up at the moment until I've, until I've explored this app thoroughly. Um, Turn off location access. Um, I've got allow Gboard to access location while using. Of course you want that, otherwise what's the point of having an app that uh, is location dependent in giving you search results based on your location if you don't use it. So yeah, there's the Gboard settings. I'd swipe those off the screen. I'd, I'd, I'd go to the app switcher, swipe those off, and go back to the app. Um, if you want to go back to your normal keyboard, just long press on the globe next keyboard back to the iOS keyboard you see uh, long press again Gboard and we're back thank you for watching high five <laughs> thanks for watching guys bye bye